at the U.S. Nationals at Indianapolis, Indiana, this may be the most important single race of the year for Connie Coletta. As you heard him say earlier, he is trying to make a move in the World Championship point standings against the current points leader, Don Garland. And now, in round number two, racing at the Nationals, Connie Coletta has his chance to meet Don Garland. Coletta has won two national titles thus far this season, but Big Daddy Don Garland has won four, giving him a points lead of some 1,900 points coming into this event. This race is a rematch of the 1984 Top Fuel Final. In winning that race, Garland began a comeback that has been unparalleled in the sport of championship drag racing. But you have to know that Connie Coletta has his sights on gaining a measure of revenge for the loss suffered last season to this man, Don Garland, and also picking up some valuable ground in that World Championship points chase. Garland's crew chief, Herb Park, doing some work on the fuel delivery system, the injectors, making an adjustment right on the starting line just before the race. Garland gets the word A-OK -okay and approaches the starting line. Garlet qualified in the number three position while Coletta filled the number seven slot in the 16-car field that started competition here at the Nationals. Garlet's off the line first, and he's got about a half a car length lead. It is a close race, and Garlet wins it. The crew reflecting the intense competition, 5.63 seconds elapsed time. His speed over 261 miles an hour, the Don Garlitz gave Connie Coletta a driving lesson. As you can see, Garlitz was the one off the starting line first. He continued to build on that advantage as the two cars traveled down the quarter mile racing surface. As they neared the finish line, Garlitz had extended his lead to nearly a full car length and took the all important win. Don, a lot of people were saying that that could be the race of the day and they certainly were not disappointed. It was a good race and the car ran good. It was clean. I'm surprised it didn't run any better than 563. Well, that's what it ran. It looked like maybe it fell behind just a little bit at the start. Might have. It acted like it didn't have quite enough clutch in it. Where did you make your move on him? In the, right at the top of low gear. Was there ever a time you were a little concerned maybe you weren't going to get around him or stay ahead of him? Because it happens real quick out through low gear, you know. That's where they make If he go, if he'd have went out in front of me in low gear, it would have been all over. Well, that's the one you had to stop. You get Joe Amato probably next. Yeah. Good race. Connie Collette and Don Garland. There was a lot of friendly conversation before this race. But, Connie, just one second. You threw everything you had at him. He just had a little more. Yeah, it just did. The car went out and shook the tires. We thought we had enough power to pull it through the shake, and it didn't work. You had some fun with this one, didn't you? Oh, yeah. I tried. What can you say? You know, you go for broke on it and do it. And the fans, thank you. I thank you for a great show. That was one car race. All right, who ran who, who what? You ran 563. You ran a little bit slower. I see. All right, well, whatever. A great race by two masters, Garlitz and Coletta.